This is what will happen to a narcissist if you refuse to pay attention and choose to remain silent. Hello everyone, welcome to the Narcissist and Karma channel, where empathy meets insight and understanding. Join us as we navigate the intricate world of emotions and relationships, offering valuable perspectives on dealing with narcissism and beyond. Together, let's explore the depths of human interaction and empower each other to thrive. Subscribe now and embark on a journey of self-discovery and growth with us. Within the intricate realm of emotions, individuals with narcissistic tendencies tread a delicate path, viewing emotions as a vulnerability to be avoided. Today, we extend an invitation to delve into the enigmatic realm of silence within the context of narcissism. Before we embark on this exploration, we wish to express our heartfelt appreciation for your presence within our community. Your support is deeply valued. Should you find enjoyment in our content, we encourage you to consider contributing to our efforts on Ko-fi with even a nominal amount of $1, aiding in the development of more captivating videos. Additionally, by joining our membership program, your name will be prominently featured in upcoming videos, serving as a token of our gratitude. If you're prepared to uncover the intricacies of narcissism, we encourage you to indicate your interest by liking this video subscribing to our community, and sharing it with those who may find it intellectually stimulating. We eagerly anticipate your participation in the comments section below, as your insights enrich our ongoing discussions. Let us embark on this cinematic voyage into the complexities of silence within the domain of narcissism. Are you prepared for this illuminating journey? Let us commence. Navigating the silent treatment from a narcissistic individual entails understanding their reaction when communication ceases. Narcissistic traits are pervasive, making avoidance challenging. Acquiring the discernment to sidestep engagement with these individuals is paramount. Not every proposition from a narcissist warrants acceptance. To safeguard oneself from the emotional turmoil they provoke, courage is requisite. One must stand firm, refraining from reacting to their overtures or displaying any semblance of apprehension. Our approach to handling silence diverges from the tactics employed in the narcissist's playbook. A narcissist often weaponizes silence to exert control and dominance over others. When faced with rejection or criticism, they retreat into silence as a means to evade responsibility, strategize their next moves, or secure their own interests. Within the intricate realm of human interactions, the dynamics of silence unfold revealing distinct paths taken by those who wield silence as a tool of manipulation and those who perceive it as a form of protection. In the mysterious realm of a narcissist's abrupt silence, a narrative unfolds seldom with benevolent intentions. Their silence is not merely a pause, it embodies a deliberate and harmful act. Laden with malice, cruelty and an underlying sense of hostility, their quietness serves as a means of inflicting emotional harm. Paradoxically, our response is not driven by a desire for retaliation, but rather by a compelling need for self-preservation. We strategically retreat into silence, employing tactics such as the grey rock method to shield ourselves from the emotional turmoil orchestrated by the narcissist. Placing trust in a narcissist proves to be a grave error, a lesson learned through first-hand experiences. Dealing with narcissists resembles navigating a precarious tightrope requiring both caution and resilience. We brace ourselves for the onslaught of attempts by the narcissist to test our boundaries, anticipating a barrage of verbal assaults and manipulative actions aimed at destabilizing our emotional equilibrium. Concurrently, we remain vigilant, cognizant of the potential for the narcissist to accuse us of psychological mistreatment or neglect, should we opt for silence as our mode of defense. In their distorted interpretation of events, our choice of silence is twisted into an act of deceit, a deliberate betrayal. However, the reality is that narcissists habitually engage in falsehoods during every interaction. Another facet of the intricate interaction with narcissists is their avoidance of facing their own shortcomings. While we maintain silence, the narcissist, feeling disoriented and uneasy, grapples with the discomfort caused by our measured response. Our refusal to cater to their emotional demands exacerbates their predicament. Within this intricate dynamic, 
Silence emerges as our most potent tool, a barrier denying them control. Their manipulation can only succeed when we willingly expose our genuine thoughts and feelings. In this enigmatic psychological battle, our utilization of silence evolves into an art form. Serving as a means of self-protection against the narcissist's calculated efforts to inflict harm and assert dominance. Paradoxically, our adoption of silence to safeguard our well-being may cast us as antagonists. In the realm of silence, we wield a shield against the narcissist's desires, thwarting their endeavors to manipulate and dominate. No strategic power play is at play here. It is simply a calculated withdrawal for the preservation of safety, prioritizing our paramount concern. Self-care emerges as the guiding principle, an unwavering commitment that must not be compromised, particularly when faced with a narcissist's attempts to induce guilt. Ignoring narcissists constitutes a prudent strategy and distinguishes us from adopting their behavior. Even in the face of their insults, maintaining silence does not necessarily harm us. Rather, it erects a barrier against their manipulative tactics. Taking control and thwarting their emotional manipulation is best achieved by disregarding them. Ignoring their presence serves as a potent strategy to minimize their impact and cease their incessant interference. By withholding insight into our thoughts and feelings, we deprive them of the emotional responses they seek. Curiously, narcissists are deterred by individuals who actively distance themselves from their influence, precisely what we seek when seeking to escape their harmful sway. If employing tactics such as giving them the cold shoulder or employing the grey rock method effectively silences their disruptive behavior, then it is a viable approach. Our mental and emotional well-being is too precious to squander on those who drain us of energy. Taking proactive measures to safeguard ourselves from the multifarious ways in which narcissists can inflict harm is imperative. The authority lies within us to thwart their attempts at derailing our path. Once more, my earnest counsel is for everyone to take decisive actions to extricate themselves from the influence of narcissists. It is essential to recognize that the power narcissists wield over us is contingent upon the extent to which we allow ourselves to become emotionally entangled with them. Maintaining composure when interacting with narcissists is vital, as they thrive on assuming control. If we afford them the opportunity, that concludes our discussion for today. I trust you gleaned valuable insights from our dialogue. Please share your thoughts in the comments below. Your support is greatly appreciated, and I hope you depart with newfound understanding.